the voice box uh, the first time I ever heard it you were doing it and you've used it in most of your stuff uh, why let's see um, I always I had heard it with Peter Frampton and a couple other artists mm -hmm. and I would use it uh, before we had hit records uh, playing in nightclubs doing cover songs and every time I would use the voice box, people would be dancing until I use it. Until it, and when I started using it, they would look up like, and they would seem to hypnotize them in a way. Yeah. And it really works. Watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching video so, and it makes you feel good. Yes, it does. Don't you believe it? <laughs> but yeah, I always use it on a. I was really using it like on songs like uh, uh, when we first started. It was like. <laughs> and uh, you know, it just seemed to work, and I uh, started using it on uh, cover songs like "Hurry Through the Grapevine." Yeah. And I don't know, people started saying, well, you know, you can't sing, man, the way you're trying to prove, you're trying to do this, you're trying to gimmick, blah, 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 blah. So I said, well, I'm just going to turn the whole thing around and I'm going to do a love song with it. And that's when we came out with the uh, uh, the penetrating, syrupy jam that came out like, uh, oh, computer love, baby, baby, you're my computer love, digital, 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 digital love. And you know, it, it just seemed to, uh, it gave the, the, the voice box a whole new character. It seemed to, uh, seemed to give it a more of a, a, a sexy character in a way. Yeah. And uh, which, go, you want to ask me something? Yeah, you used it, but you used it on everything. Is, is there ever, you think we will hear Roger without the voice box or let me let me ask another question before you even answer that one yeah sure, um, sure what happens when people decide we've heard that sound enough from Roger you know don't you worry about when it is a gimmicky kind of sound like that that people may get tired of it let me see what would I do I think then I will um, become a stand-up comedian or maybe I could <laughs> go to Walt Disney and become Donald Duck's voice <laughs> <laughs> I'll find something to do, man. Maybe I, maybe I put them both together like this. You, one and one is two, but two and two is four. La 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 la. And that'll be a whole new sound. See? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, good luck. Right? <laughs> hey, man. Thanks so much for being on the show today. I appreciate Thank it. You. This has been one of the uh, freshest <laughs> interviews I've ever done, man. This is great. I love it. I want to take what this one to take home. <laughs> Continue success to you okay. and uh, to your whole crew, uh, Shirley Murdoch and everyone you work with. Roger Troutman on Video Soul. We'll be back in a minute with Shirley Murdoch. This is someone that he produces. Yeah. <laughs>